Hello everyone. Today in this video we are going to discuss about olfactory sensory system. Now what is olfactory system? Olfactory system is part of our nervous system which regulates our smell and processes different fragrances that we take from our surrounding environment. Now apart from just processing the smell olfactory system has a strong connection with limbic system of our brain. Now limbic system is responsible for memory as well. So that is the reason that when we just have a smell of a rainy weather or a rain falling on the ground, we associate that smell with our mood and certain smells are responsible for enhancing our mood and even making us feel nostalgic at times when we are associating some smells with certain events of our life. So now how does olfactory system can be used in sensory integration process? When we are using olfactory system for sensory integration, we need to remember that our brain associates smell with memories as well and the individuals having sensory processing issues or having ADHD and autism they are kind of either over responsive or under responsive to certain smells so we need to expose those individuals with different smells and I would recommend using natural substances when we are integrating olfactory system so here I am going to show you the substances that can be used or with the help of which you can make your own olfactory sensory kit. Now the first thing that I'll be using is coffee beans. Now coffee beans have a great advantage. See I have just uh, taken few coffee beans and I do use it in the therapy sessions as well. This helps a lot in calming down a child and at the same time coffee bean smells also activates the reticular system now reticular system is responsible for awakening our nervous system and bringing alertness and that helps in improving the working memory of the child so see even i cannot resist uh, smelling coffee beans at present they are very much soothing and calming uh, for my nervous system as well and this helps a lot do try this one if your child is having anxiety issues or child is not uh, having a state of calm or you want to increase their focus before any tabletop activity now the next thing that i have in my this olfactory kit yeah i have made this uh, little bag which is handy yeah let's see what's there inside okay now this kind of is having a strong smell uh, we call it uh, esophoretida or the uh, hink and it is having a very strong and pungent smell now if your child or the individual using this is having over responsiveness to strong smells then i would suggest not to use it initially but but if you want to increase the arousal level of the child if uh, your child is kind of um, bit drowsy or like uh, lethargic and under aroused then of course you can just uh, use this one and just have a quick smell for few seconds with this and uh, next you can go on with your activity now the next thing that i have let's see let's see let's see yes this is cinnamon sticks and cinnamon sticks also help a lot in calming down our nervous system and they are having many other medicinal benefits as well so i'm a big fan of uh, cinnamon sticks as well and yes they are soothing so as a part of your olfactory sensory routine do use it and especially the kids who are having feeding issues or who are picky eaters and them also you can use uh, the smell of uh, cinnamon and the other thing that I have which also helps uh, for picky eaters is the jeera the cumin seeds we call it okay so the smell of cumin seeds is also relaxing and a kind I will say that uh, the kids 
who are having uh, digestive issues who are having feeding issues and at the same time who are not able to have that uh, state of calm they can have a lot of benefits by smelling jeera or cumin seeds so uh, these are uh, the smells that i use uh, regularly apart from that sometimes i do use clove and turmeric so i'm going to show you that also the these are the clove and the turmeric especially with the kids who are struggling with their eating habits and who are as i mentioned earlier who are uh, picky eaters or are constantly avo- avoiding majority of food items and to all parents who have a question like apart from all the therapies what can be done to improve my child's diet then i would suggest that use this natural substances available in your kitchen in part or the, as a part of your therapy for olfactory system so this is a turmeric the healing one it heals a lot and yes of course our body needs a lot of healing and the smells play a very good role in increasing the state of calm and relaxing us and uh, improving uh, the way uh, we are relating with food and uh, the activities as well the food kind of i'll say uh, certain kids are avoiding food not just because of the taste and texture but it could be the smell also so if we are exposing them to the smells individually then we are helping them to uh regulate the nervous system and accepting all uh, the sensory inputs coming from the environment and yes uh, uh, with this video i have tried to bring about uh, a new area which needs uh, to be more focused when we are using sensory integration because most of the time we are not using this olfactory sensory system when we are doing or when we are uh, using sensory integration approaches so i had a few suggestions uh, from uh, the viewers and uh, my colleagues also that uh, why not make a video on olfactory sensory system and i made uh, i had went through some uh, research i of course uh, went through the books and of course uh, we used this in the therapy and we got very good results and especially we got results where we wanted to increase the alertness of the child and uh, the feeding issues were addressed well when we combined olfactory sensory integration or olfactory sensory system with our regular therapies as well so yes parents i would request you to subscribe to our channel if you find this video helpful and our work helpful then do subscribe to our channel and support us to do more work in this field do subscribe like and share our videos and support us thank you and lots of love to all kids